Alright, quick little update on the air bearings. I've just come up with a new way to mount the bearings in the housing. If you remember previously, in the center of the plenum, I just used a 3 8 ball end mill to create a radius that my ball would sit down in mounted to the screw, and I'd hope that would allow me to swivel. However, the adjustments being finick as finicky as they are, the degree of static friction that this would have had as it contacted that entire surface of the radius would have been far too high and the amount of force it would have taken to overcome that static friction would exceed the amount of force that it would take to ground the bearing. So, not very helpful. What I've come up with is I've made this, I've drilled this out to half inch now, no longer 3 eighths, and made this. I made this out of W1 tool steel. I've just hardened and polished it. It's about 60, 65 Rockwell now. So dead hard, just like my ball bearing. And you'll notice the shape of it is the closest approximation you can get to that ideal inverted pyramid, which is the ideal way to have a ball kin kinematically mount with three degrees of freedom. So that sits in there. Since they're both hard, it's a very small contact area, very small degree of static friction. However, since they're hard, it won't wear over time, it won't uh, create a dent in the plenum and become loose. So super rigid, super good way of mounting. So I still have those three degrees of freedom. Now that this is done, that's just going to be pressed in all the way to the bottom there. So the ball will sit and that's how it's going to mount. pretty much it. Just wanted to show uh, the updates because I thought that was a pretty cool solution to a pretty interesting problem. Thanks.